so I'm back once again with another Chronicles episode. I don't even know what these are anymore, to be honest. Uh, I haven't posted in ages. I've been really busy. Um, also, my laptop's broken, so can't do any production, can't stream, can't really do anything music-related other than send emails. What I'm going to start trying to do is more of these videos again, just what I'm doing day to day that sort of gets me by trying to be a DJ. Uh, last couple of days, been emailing loads and loads of bars, clubs, cocktail bars, those sort of places looking for work in and around where I live, very far from where I live as well. Um, it's been very dry since coming back from Bulgaria, but it's okay. We've, uh, I feel like I finally recovered from that. <laughs> I thought today was a good day to put the camera on because I can show you guys what I actually do to make a bit of extra money when I'm not DJing because no way I make enough at the moment to do that full time. Uh, so basically, I'm, just look I'm always looking for like extra work. Quick work I can do that's not super difficult. That'll make a bit of money. So what's one of the things I do? I actually just pack lanyards. It is literally that simple. So I've got bags there. I put lanyards in bags, put the barcode on, and I've got to do all of those. So that's 300 there. And I've also got to pack 100 armbands like that. Shout out lanyard shop and LGID cards. Uh, I work with them. We'll get some cool Christmas lanyards and other key card holders and things like that. I'll put the links in the description if you are interested. But yeah, that's all I do. Just pack a lot of lanyards. It's not a difficult job. It literally is just putting lanyards and key card holders and different things in bags and sending them back to the company so they can distribute them. But it is quite tedious. It's a long process because you have to do like, yeah, I'm not doing 10, I'm doing 300. So I've got a pretty good factory line worked out now. I do it in the same process each time. And per hundred of something, it normally takes me about, I've got it to about 40 minutes now. I haven't got to be doing this all the time. It's sort of like extra work on the side, which is ideal. I'm not going to lie. I've lucked out incredibly. But yeah, going to get to work. I thought I'd film a hyperlapse of it because you guys haven't seen what I do yet. But first things first, got to pull the telly out so I can watch a film whilst I'm doing it. So I'm gonna leave the camera down here. I'm not gonna face the telly so as I don't pretend to get copyrighted for filming a film in the background. But yeah, gonna put a hyperlapse on, see what happens. I pretty well hyperlapse all four hours because that will be a lot of footage, but you, you'll get the idea that it just becomes the same thing over and over. But about three and a half hours before I need to be at the gym to meet Michael. Uh, for a training session, so we're going to see how much we can get done before then, and the rest I'll do after it or tomorrow morning. back from the gym big shoulder session today tough work uh, filmed a little bit as you saw at the gym just like day in the life stuff and you know, i'm going to try and get into some proper vlogging style uh what we got to do for the rest of the day it's going to be a production day because the laptop's back and working so we're going to get on music production going to go hard on that today uh send some more emails apply to some more clubs and then edit the rest of this video and get it out because i need to upload to youtube it's been ages up towards the end of the day now i've been uh actually didn't do as much as i was gonna do um, I've been watching TV and eating. I'm editing the video at the moment, right now, on the screen. And I just wanted to outro the episode, I guess. There's things that I've been doing that I might have missed talking about on YouTube specifically. There was this really cool competition that Ibiza Rocks came out with. It was to win a residency DJ slot for 2024 over the summer, which would be crazy if we can make that happen because, like, I, I, I don't even need to explain to you. You know what Ibiza Rocks is. It's one of the biggest clubs slash 
day clubs slash hotels in Ibiza, home of the pool party, all that, and it's Ibiza, do you know what I mean? Like DJing in Ibiza, that's most DJs that want to tour and play abroad and stuff. The creme de la creme is Ibiza, or at least one of them is. For me, Ibiza is like the top where you want to be. So imagine playing the residency there for a whole summer. So the competition was to upload a 60 second Ibiza Rocks mini mix. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I posted it there. And it's done quite well, and we'll just have to see if I get onto the second round. Fingers crossed I do at least make it to the second round, because in the second round, you get to do a whole 20-minute mix. And I've got some cool ideas of how I want to shoot it as well, get the videography up and really make a cool video. Because 60 seconds, that's obviously standard real length, but to do a mini-mix where they're asking for as many Ibiza Rocks artists as possible in 60 seconds, that's just not my style to, like, change loads of songs and mix, like, loads of people in like quick hot mixing and all that i like to do skills and transitions and blend which just makes 60 seconds really difficult for me to like showcase my skill i feel like i did okay i was able to do some sampling at the start played three big songs there's not much else i could have really done i don't like like i said i'm not a fan of that really quick loading loading computer program sets and all that so it was difficult but a good challenge so we'll see if we get to the next round and if we go from there i'll talk more about it if i do I think the competition's open for another week, so yeah, we'll have to see about that. Devil Loser, I've been promoting it everywhere. If you want to hear it, you can find it over my Instagram where I'm posting clips about it. I'm still trying to get it signed. I've sent it to Atom Bomb Records, which is Chapter and Verses label. I've sent it to Label Radar. I've had some interests, but no labels that I necessarily want to sign with yet because I feel like I know the potential of the track. I know the potential of the track, and I feel like it's got potential to be on a bigger label than what I'm being offered at the moment. So I'm happy just to sit back, hold on the track, and wait and wait and wait and try and get it on the right one. Like I said, the laptop is back now, so I've been one production again. I've got a remix of a little baby tune that I'm doing and working on, which is cool. And I've got a remix of NRG by Jazzy, which I should have finished by now, but because my laptop went out for two weeks, I haven't finished it. But it's been I've had people playing it. It does sound cool, so I'm going to get that finished, hopefully today or tomorrow. And that's about it. Um, it looks a bit disjointed. We went straight from the hyperlapse to me walking to the gym. But I'm actually shooting this about four days later than when I shot all the lanyard stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm basically in the gym every day. So I thought I'd shoot a little bit of that. I'm going to try and get into more taking the camera around and just talking to the camera and stuff. Because I feel like these videos, they don't go anywhere at the moment because I'm not gigging. So I'm going to try and just take the camera more, even like to the gym and just film there. Just film what I'm doing. Because otherwise, it's just me sat here at the desk editing away that's literally what i'm doing i'm just editing and like making music and it's all done right here at this desk so i need to just take the camera out if i'm gonna vlog and do more stuff but fingers crossed we get some replies to some of these emails i'm sending and we start landing some gigs and i can start filming and taking you guys along to these events that is the life i mean we're just chugging along like i said getting by just keep going keep going keep going can't stop can't let it beat you and yeah what we're up to really posting loads of reels loads of shorts trying to get those pop in but i really want to bring more long form content because i see the youtube is just growing all the time which is sick i think my shorts are doing really well so i want to start doing more long form again i'm thinking i might do some more videos breaking down production techniques things i do might even do a video like trying to remix a billboard top 10 in an hour or something like that and cut it down uh got some ideas to film another end of year long mix but yeah there's stuff in the works just gotta make it happen and figure it out but thank you everybody that has been watching on youtube subscribing supporting commenting even all the hate comments love you lot uh big up the interactions and the engagement but yeah i'll see everybody in the next episode i think this is dh chronicles 8 we've just done on to nine I might stop numbering them i'm not sure but i'll see you guys in the next one